Right. But the, the grammar is, is made to serve the communication, to, to facilitate it. Mm, right. Grammar is more basically the theoretical aspect of how syntax works. Yeah. Right. Um, someone who doesn't have that knowledge. This is not an easy question to answer. It's the equivalent of asking someone who doesn't understand the theoretical aspect of music. Do they have the capability to write and compose and arrange music? Yes, they do. But someone with a theoretical understanding of music, it gives them more leverage, it gives them more advantage as a musician. Oh. And a person who doesn't, it could sort of deprive him at some given point. Well, music is, is a, a good example of that because you could be like a prodigy and you could just intuitively write a piece with key changes mm -hmm. and all this stuff like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. and it just kind of points you mm -hmm. the right way. And then the theorist comes and puts a name on all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. But most musicians do have a theoretical understanding of how music works. I, as a musician, I became aware of that by when you watch guys like B.B. King, Jimi Hendrix, and all these performing musicians, you realize that they do have a theoretical understanding of what they do. Maybe not that in-depth, but they do, they do know music. Right. I think the big disparity from a musical perspective is not really a, mus a musician's ability to have a theoretical understanding of music. The disparity here in music is between knowing music and reading sheet music. This is the biggest disparity. You have profound musicians, but they can't read sheet music. And you have musicians who can read sheet music, but they can't compose to save their life. Right, but the theoretical understanding of music spreads across the board with all performed musician, period.